Welcome back, everyone. We have an update from Blue Sky AI. Trades on the OTC ID under the symbol BSAI. It's a Neo Cloud purpose built for artificial intelligence through rapidly deployable Sky mods. They're next generation scalable AI factories providing speed to market and energy optimization for entities requiring high performance infrastructure to support machine learning workloads and data centers. Happy to welcome founder CEO Trent DeBergio and COO Dan Gay. Welcome back to the conference, gentlemen. Anna, thank you. It's great to be back. We're very excited and, and things on our front are going well and appreciate the opportunity to share the update. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you very much, Anna. And you've had thousands of viewers on both the YouTube and uh, we've had lots of questions since then. So gr glad to be here. Great. Well, let's jump in. You mentioned NeoCloud in your last presentation. So talk about how that is different than Google or other clouds. Um, NeoCloud is a new iteration that's complementary to what we know as traditional cloud. It's specifically designed for AI compute and AI inferencing. It's complementary to what we know cloud compute as and high performance compute for large language models. Dan has some great statistics on how and what cloud computing does today and how it differentiates uh, uh, from what we know as traditional cloud to NeoCloud. So Dan, if you want to share some of those, um, I'm not certain if everybody can see my slides right now, Anna, or not, but we can go right into that. Yeah, just a, a standard cloud platform might uh, you send something over Google, et cetera, that's about a half a kilowatt. If you send a 10 meg file, that's 10 megs. And where a Neo Cloud really differs is that we're talking about uh, not only gigabytes, but up to terabytes of information. And just to put that into everyone's mind about what size that is a, you know a, a terabyte would be like 13 videos being shown for 13 to 14 years continuously it's a, it's a big number so in the neo cloud world we deal in huge huge bandwidth and huge uh huge um compute yeah and so how that functions is we are an ai factory that's the term for the, the actual physical facility that operates in the Neo Cloud space. And we deliver what we'll call as AI agents or that application to the end user. And that AI application takes massive amounts of uh, power and compute in comparison traditional, to traditional compute models. And that's the space when we talk about Neo Cloud and what we're building. And as previously mentioned, we plan uh, multiple sites across the United States. We have 20 plus targeted under evaluation today um, with somewhere uh, upwards of over 100 megawatts of uh, somewhat planned power for our sites that will integrate and operate in this Neo Cloud space, delivering any for anywhere in rural markets to metro areas and anything we're seeing developing in that uh, AI compute space. Um, with that, it's the Sky Mod that you mentioned, Anna. They're prefabricated modular designs that we have built off-site, delivered to the planned location in a plug-and-play format. So we're very excited about uh, that and our speed to market. That's one of the real advantages in this uh, ever-growing and expanding and rapid-paced space. So we're, we're positioned well and we're being received well from our providers and our, our uh, partners. So we're really excited about where we are. Dan, is there anything you want to share about how uh, kind of the architecture and the development of the, the site goes and our nimbleness and scalability? Yeah, well, the, our SkyMad, which we're calling AI factories, and you know, think of those as, as uh, one megawatt uh, per each one of those factories, and they can be connected together so that um, we can scale on a site from one to 60 megawatts. And... Uh, what's uh, amazing about this is that we're able to structure, define, and place these in months, not years. And that uh, allows us to really benefit based upon the huge demand, the massive demand that's in the marketplace right now. And, and if we want to take some questions now, I know we're limited on time today. I don't know what our, our timer is, but if you've got some questions for us, we'll try to get them answered before we have to wrap it up. 
Perfect. Yes. Uh, so I keep hearing about possible NVIDIA chip delays, seeing press releases where big cloud companies are ordering thousands of GPUs. So are you concerned about chip delays in your network strategy? Um, of course, you always have to be concerned with supply chain and the management of supply chain. Now, there are multiple providers outside of NVIDIA that do uh, uh, similar things and different things. There's some uh, new designs and new participants in the market and traditional participants in the market. I'm sure we've seen some news around AMD as of late, which is a, a, another provider uh, of compute processing, as well as Intel and some additional investments made in uh, uh, Intel. So there are alternate providers, but NVIDIA is kind of the leader in the space right now. And we are not uh, being informed of those delays as of today. So right now we're feeling fairly comfortable about our deliverability, but that can always change, right? You know, you see one order for one from one provider for 400,000 chips. So you just, you're, you're not sure. But right now today we feel fairly confident. We do have some indications in place uh, with our providers to make sure we uh, acquire that supply. Perfect. Well, let's talk a little bit about the future. Can you share where you think you'll be in two or three years? Yeah, we would like to see ourselves with 20 plus sites, uh, multiple hundred megawatts of uh, deliverable power and somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 50,000 GPUs deployed. We, we believe that that's an accomplishable goal. Those are all plans, of course, and, and uh, um, pro forma speculation. But right now, today, we feel comfortable, and that's where we'd like to be. We'd like to be a, a per, premier provider in the space with this uh, SkyMod deployment. And how do you plan to fund such an expansion for AI computing? Well, right now we we are in the marketplace. We do have some open uh, an open offering for a uh, regulation D uh, offering, as well as we are working on an additional offering with the government shutdown. That's been delayed a little bit, but the paperwork's in process. So, uh, as soon as we can and that's perfected, we'll get that uh, uh, announced. And is the company being audited? Do you have a goal to uplist to Nasdaq or the New York Stock Exchange? We do. We're, we are fully reporting and have been for some time. We're considered what's what is called a tier two on the OTC ID markets, and we have completed our initial application for NASDAQ uh, uplisting. And so will I be identify be able to identify our shortcomings and what we need to do to accomplish that uplisting. So we're very excited about that. And that is in process. Timing on that is somewhat unknown. Again, that's uh, uh, there are some gating uh, things that we have to accomplish, but we're we're confident and hopeful that we can get those done. And what is your marketplace niche? Um, uh, speed to market right now is our niche, but we we do like this idea of rural and metro markets uh, be, being able to uh, provide services to multiple differing AI agents. So we're not locked into one specific uh, end user. So um, we can't be everything for everyone, but as far as uh, that niche is that inference or instance computing in locally served areas, I think that that's more so where we're at. We do have a higher education initiative that we're very intrigued with. So if anything, we like, we want to participate in that space. And yeah, so and how Trent, just to, yeah. if I could, just to update based on that, um, you know, many providers today are maxed out, you know, they're running at 98% or higher. Um, so right now, between now and the next two to three years, there's so much demand in the marketplace that uh, there will be a synergistic um, solution between a number of the neo clouds like ours will be in the future where we're working together to uh, just meet the demands that are there. So it, it's a unique marketplace. And how can individuals, in, individual investors get involved in Blue Sky AI? Um, probably the best way today is to visit our website, read about us, understand the business plan and where we fit in the space. We do have a contact page on that. Uh, where you can reach out and we'll, we'll get back to you on some different options there, as well as our symbol is Boy Sam Alpha Ivan BSAI on the OTC markets. We are publicly traded today, so feel free to investigate us there as well. We'd love the participation. Perfect. Well, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Trent. We appreciate you being on the conference with this update, and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks, Thanks so much. Dan. All right, everyone, we'll be right back.